Welcome to my Windows demonstration video. It's going to be Windows 7 as a virtual machine running on top of Zen and I'm going to demonstrate uh, data transfer performance uh, as well as video game performance for graphics purposes. This is using uh, VGA pass-through and it is a completely virtualized machine using PV on HVM drivers. So I'm going to start by showing you the Windows Experience Index. You'll notice the lowest score is actually the CPU. It has four V cores out of the I believe 8 available on a Core i7-2600 Sandy Bridge processor uh, and it scores 7.6 for memory, 7.8 for graphics, both scores, and 7.7 .7 for the hard drive. The hard drive is a solid state drive, it's an OCZ Vertex 3. Prior to the uh, PV on HVM drivers, or GPLPV as they're called, uh, it was scoring a 6.6 .6 to 6.8, so it actually gets a kind of a range depending on the revision of Zen that I've used but I can say that 7.7 uh, .7 is really good for a hard drive so I'm not really disappointed with that in the least considering it's a virtual machine I find these scores to be pretty astonishing um, as far as data transfer speeds I have a two over a two gigabyte file here that I'm going to transfer to a USB 3.0 hard drive right here just to demonstrate the transfer speeds it is going at really really fast. I'd say that it averages out usually at around 130 megabytes per second but as you can see it spiked at the beginning and that throws off the actual average. So 130 is about average for this. So I'm going to stop that. Now this is a USB 2.0 hard drive right here and it is plugged into a USB 3.0 port because I wanted to demonstrate that USB 2.0 on USB 3.0 is still astonishingly fast. It still travels at a higher rate. Usually this one averages at around 80, not 100 and some. So you'll notice it slows down and it's getting slower. Still much faster than if you had it plugged into a USB 2.0 port. So I would consider this to be also a very good speed. So we're going to stop that one. Now this is a USB 2.0 uh, SanDisk Cruiser flash drive, 8 gigabytes, and it is connected to a USB 2.0 connection. So we're going to copy and paste it here. This will take an awful long time because it takes forever to actually calculate the uh, process. And USB 2.0 for flash drives for large files is absurdly slow. I think it averages to about 1 to 2 megabits per second. So it's very, very bad. Um, USB 2.0 performance isn't all that great. Uh, with USB 2.0 hard drive, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, it's a little better than this flash drive, but there we go. So kilobytes per second is the measurement it's currently giving us. And there we go, it's reached uh, one and a half. Let's cancel that for now. Once this is done canceling, I can show you the speed at which it copies to the USB 2.0. But I'm going to also show you, this is a Samba drive right here. So this Samba drive is what I've used for, it's connected to the actual virtual machine. Um, the DOM0 platform, uh, Debian Wheezy, has this as a, a ext4 file system. Um, I'm going to paste this into here, and you'll see that we have speeds that are pretty decent for a network's transfer. I have seen speeds averaging over 90 megabits per second, so, so I'm going to eject this one here. We're going to do, oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Inject. We're going to demonstrate this USB 2.0 drive connected to a USB 2.0 slot, and that should give us a better idea as to the USB 2.0 speeds. Smaller files do definitely transfer faster on the USB uh, 2.0. So this is plugged into a USB 2.0 drive now. So if I try to paste the data in here, it will be significantly slower, usually averaging around 10 to, to 20. See? So USB 3.0, if you can get a motherboard with that, you're going to be golden. It'll be much faster than the alternative.
And that concludes the transfer speed test. I'll be showing video game performance in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'm sure everyone here can recognize what this game is. This is Skyrim. I've currently set perhaps so that it's actually limiting the frame rate to 30, but on average this actually reaches 60 frames per second regularly. So it's actually very, very fast. So, this is going to be a demonstration showing the performance. Now this is set to maximum graphics, and it does have the high resolution texture pack installed. The high-res texture pack doesn't make a significant difference in terms of visual effect, um, at least not that I've been able to see, but it does make a difference in terms of initial loading time being extremely sluggish. So, for example, when I first enter an area or load up the game, the area lags a little bit. Don't even think about Need something? I'm Anska. Are you here to help? I've found Maybe you could help find it. I just know it's in here. If Vokun is as powerful as... You can have anything. Except the... Great. With the two of us, this should be easy. Okay, so let's go in and kill some things real quick. As you can see, the performance of the graphics are pretty good. I would say top notch. Okay, and this is Borderlands. And it's all on max settings. We got a single player. And we're just gonna show you some graphics performance. Uh, this is another game that achieves uh, very high frame rates, 60 plus uh, frame rates. It does drop down when I'm surrounded by lots and lots of creatures. So it can All right, okay, no, we'll uh, we'll we'll get you there. Might be even loud. Right, let's get you rolling, man. Right. Right. So as you can see, the graphics are again very, very good. Anyways, as you can see, the graphics are very, very good. The game plays normal. So, 
I would say this is a success for virtualized games. There's something. Another soldier on the field. And that concludes this video for now. This is the actual transfer speeds I usually achieve when going to a Samba disc, over 100 megabytes per second. So this is what I wanted to demonstrate before that wasn't working. It's probably because I had a couple of things going on. Now it's dropping right now, probably because I'm recording to the same drive that I'm copying from. But you'll note that it started out at over 100 megabytes a second. It's dropping to about 50. This is transferring to, over the network, a Samba mapped drive. So, and that's, uh, that's the last video for our demonstration.